In this video, I'm gonna share with you what feels like a secret set of plugins that I use very often. And they allow me to get animations like this very easily and quickly. And they're just giving them away. I'm Raphael and welcome to the channel where our goal is to always fix it in camera and then finesse it in post. And if you work with Final Cut, you know that some of the simplest animations are sometimes harder to achieve than they should be. And when you're working fast, the last thing that you wanna be doing is keyframing in Final Cut, which is a nightmare. Or you have to spend money to buy plugins, which are great, but they do add up over time. And a while back, I stumbled upon Taps' YouTube channel and his awesome plugins for Final Cut Pro that he is generously giving away to the Final Cut community. In total, there are seven plugins that do things that are actually hard in Final Cut Pro. Let's go over all of them. So there are three title animations and there are four effects. And once you install them, make sure you follow the instructions on how to install them, make your own folder in your motion effects template. I think you install them into movies, into your motion templates, create a folder for Tapsa in your effects and then in your titles as well. Make sure you create a taps of folder and just put the title, the text effects in there and you put the effects into your effects folder in your motion templates. Then restart Final Cut and you are good to go. So once they're installed, you'll find them in your titles and you'll have three title effects. You're gonna have four effects. So let's go through them kind of one by one. Let's start with the effects because these are awesome just right out of the gate. So. We're gonna play with this title right here. And this is just a standard custom title right in Final Cut. And this will work with, <clears throat> with any titles that, that you have. So we're just gonna take this effect, we're gonna drop it right onto the text. And right out of the gate, we already have an animation as in your video inspector, you're gonna find the quick in out animator and you have all these animations that you can choose from. Scale in, scale X in, scale Y in. Uh, I typically do zoom from in. And it gives you that animation. But if you want it to be quicker, you can adjust the in time. So it can pop in, it's almost like a pop. It's probably a bit too fast. Let's make it 0.2 seconds. Go back to the beginning, boop. Bam. You can also add motion blur or take it away, depending on what your, depending on what your, what you want. And you'll also allowed, you can also change where the center point is. So right now it's right in the center of the animation. But if you move your animation, you can just grab the center point and move it down to wherever you want your text. And then they can animate out as well. Let's do that. Bop, bop, bop. Bop, bop, bop. So I was never able to achieve this similar effect in Final Cut, where it was so smooth as it is here. And so, as you can see, they have a different animation out. So you just wanna make sure that you have, because right now it's float out to right. You can have blur out. You can change all three to the same one, so they all match. And they're all gonna blur out, bam, look at that. But it also works with uh, still images. So this is a still image and you just grab it and an animation will happen right off the bat. And it retains the alpha image as well. So it doesn't create a weird adjustment layer. It just allows you to animate these on and then animate them off. And it doesn't, there's no keyframes I need to add. It just, it'll happen at the end of, so I'm gonna do zoom out. 
Tesla Model, that's the Tesla Model X, but and then we're gonna do a zoom out, bam, look at that. And then that's it. So that one plugin, that one plugin alone is doing so much of the heavy lifting when you need to do different kinds of animations. And it doesn't matter if you change the scale or the position of the image. So I'm gonna scale it up and I'm going to move it over. It'll just keep working. It'll treat it on its own. And if you change the duration and they're really fast. So if you need to do certain things in different animations, this one plugin alone can give you so much variety. So let's take a look at the, the next plugin. This is the quick in and out bouncer, that overshoot. So it's flying down from top. Let's do zoom in from, just simple and clean, boom, overshoot. But you also have bounce back, boom. You can also adjust the amount of movement if you want it even more, bam. Again, you can speed up the entire process and it has the ins and outs already built in. So it's, it feels like a motion VFX plugin, but it's not and it's free and it's amazing. Again, you have float in from right, fly from top. You have different, so many different variations. So that's from fly from top. Let's see, bam. It's just, it, no matter what the style you want. Okay, let's do the revealer. Cause this one, this one allows you to do very specific things. So initially it gives you a setup mode. So if you look over here, you have the setup mode, you have the width and the height. So you take it and then you just make sure that the reveal area is what you want it to be. So I'm just gonna squeeze the, make sure it's just fit in properly. And that's the reveal area. And then once you turn it off, let's go back to the beginning, play it. And so it's revealing from the top, flip from top, so boop. Like so many things that would be near impossible to do in Final Cut. I know you can do in motion and these are all brought in from motion, but they're just built in here and he is like literally just giving the, these away. These are fantastic. So, so we're gonna do a zoom in, same thing. It just, once you choose one of them. Okay, so let's do wipe from top, wipe from bottom, boop. It's fantastic. And then behind from bottom, it lifts it up. So once you built a style for your work, for your show, it just, you literally just copy and paste this onto other effects, or you just create your own preset and then just apply it. This works on images as well. So I'm just gonna bring in this image, make sure I get rid of the, I'm gonna move this over here scale it back down. I'm just gonna add the revealer to this image. So we have our effect area. So make sure it encompasses the entire image. And then we're gonna go and make sure we get the whole thing. And I'm going to behind from bottom. So just make sure you turn off the set up mode play boom and we're in and you can adjust the speed you can add motion blur you can do this multiple times to so different multiple images depending on the kind of effect that you're going for and what your edit needs so this one's pretty cool this one is the zoom zoom highlight so you can just take it and adjust it I'm gonna make it to this not the computer screen. I'm gonna make it just this one portion over here. And again, just turn off setup mode. And then once it animates, and you can move it to wherever you want it to be, just so you're focusing where you wanna focus. And it allow you to change the border width. 
nice little animation on this the stroke that goes around it Boop. And you can change it from circle to rectangle or from rectangle to circle depending on what you want you can change the roundness or if you're in a circle you can make it a squircle if you wanted to change the color of the highlighted area get it to your branding again such a simple such a simple tool that allows you to do so many different things so that's those four effects let's look at the text effects so the text effects by themselves so the text effects you just drag them onto the timeline you can change the the font style and they're all built into the text effect so here i just changed in the the reveal you can change the font you can change the text size you can change the color and you have all these effects that you can use so i'm going to do cursor from left let's see what that gives us and like so like just so simple and so awesome so and there you go for free for free how can you do better than that so modern from left and come on it's so sweet let's do behind from top boom and this is just text effects so you don't need to use the effects to do the reveals this is all built into this text effect and you can change the spacing you can do so we can do split horizontal let's see what that gives us oh ah, like, come on so good like put it in so let's see that boom so that's one let's do the multi-line effect let's see what this gives us so right off the bat it's not doing anything and this allows you to do a cutout so i'm going to change the font to my favorite bold and scale it up and then we can do a reveal and what we're going to do make sure that this fits in the entire thing behind from wipe from left turn off setup mode and if you ever notice these kind of things it just means that you need to expand you need to expand the width or the height to make sure it's encompassing everything so we just go back Boom, supercar reveal. And if we don't want the motion blur, we can just turn it all the way off. So it gives us a nice boom. And that's with the knockout. Get rid of the stencil text. So you can see it a little bit better, boom. Again, like just, again, it's just so simple. And once you find your style, once you find the look and the colors, you can just reuse a lot of this. Now another, the last text effect is the auto size of the background. So this allows you to make it, if you have big text blocks, make it as big as you need. The size of the paragraph. And again, it's just, it's going to follow the same rules it's going to follow the same rules as all text is. So if you change the font and change the size, it will all work out. So you can go back and just make sure that the opacity and the background and change the roundness to work how you want. You can make it fully opaque. And no matter where you move the text, you can also stencil the text here as well. So it'll just do a knockout. So if you made that full black and you can move that border to be all sides, top side, bottom side. Again, just a simple use of this effect. And it's all dependent on the size of the text. So if you have a lot of these that are throughout your show, just change your text, just change the text and move on. And you can combine this with 
animations like bouncing it in and it just you can reveal do the bounce in you can do the quick animations this tool set of seven effects and titles is a fantastic thing to have for free in your toolkit in Final Cut Pro for you to use. And the best part is they are free and there is no sign up needed for anything. So make sure you go and download Taps' plugins before he changes his mind. And don't forget to say thanks. He also has a donate link if that's how you want to thank him. If you think these plugins are awesome, make sure you check out this free awesome plugin for Motion VFX and Camry. Give this video a thumbs up. Also, I live stream on my second channel where I deep dive on the creative process as well as freelance financials. As always, thanks for watching.